Oh, oh, sick. All right, Alliance pulling out the big guns here in game number three to try and keep their hopes alive here for the WCA qualifiers. Admiral Bulldog is going to be playing an offlane Doom, and they will be playing that four-position Tusk. It's cop of the ensnare. That means then the, uh, the Searing Chains is going to come out. He will probably die. He's actually going to fight this one because My Nuts is coming in with the TP. They're going to be able to snowball say Admiral That's Bulldog. And it's just the bait secret in entirely. Loda's going to be able to clean up, uh, I think, one of these supports. Puppy is going to be the target. S4 actually comes in. A little bit of body blocking just to make sure that Puppy does, in fact, go down here. And at the same time, they do finally catch the Dazzle. Took him a while. Setting up the bait on Admiral Bulldog, knowing the snowball would buy him so much time. And S4, oh, he's going to get chained up. He's actually dead tries to bottle through in between hit. Usually, he has really good attack animation, and the Ember Spirit usually gets pressured pretty hard. Is dead? Ice Shard still blocking him out with the Cogs. Do push him back, and now the rotation. Jackie's actually going to come in. Eternal Envy trying to eat through my nuts, but still, they have the Cold Embrace to be able to keep him alive a little bit longer, but there's no Snowball save either, so he will eventually die as long as he's able to do it without getting caught. Now, we'll see whether or not this happens with this Smoke Gank. They've got Doom. Yeah, they can get Quicker. him. Look, he gets the Doom off. And Colonel Levy's dead. It's another uh, smoke used, and the Gyrocopter continues to not farm. When he does this, it's okay, and I think this is the right maneuver. They have to get a big target out of this, or at least accomplish something. Like, they get a kill on Wii and then go for a tower push. But something has to happen as a result of this. They're, They're going to run, run into Jackie. Ember, that's perfect. They get a Doom on him. They'll quickly clean up Eternal Envy and the rest of Alliance can now actually take control of this tier one tower. Won't have that fast BKB. There's going to be such a, a large period of time where he's susceptible to that blade mount. S4 going to be challenged here. The chains and they just pop him so quickly. The Winter's Curse, it wouldn't have even saved uh, S4. The burn damage still would have been there by killing some of the small creeps when um, he can. That's oh, they caught, they caught Misery. They throw a lot for it, and uh, Jackie's actually going to try and take advantage of that one. Nuts! He's not going to be able to survive. The cold brace isn't enough. Jackie walks away with a double kill, but he's going to be doomed up immediately. The call down gets laid out, and there goes the Aegis, but still. Eternal Envy got the two kills. That was well worth it for him. The Glimmer Cape, I don't think, cuts down on the Doom damage here now. Yeah. But it's still... Just to get that distance away from the Doom would be pretty significant, yeah, especially when Doom has eggs. Still very strong. Misery's actually trying to challenge S4. He's going to pop the Blade Melt the last second here, hoping S4 would burst some damage onto him, but that's not going to be the case. Misery will fall. Focus Fire on the Tier 2 at the bottom lane, and they're not even getting the Tier 1 top. Eternal Envy is defending that one solo. So this is just Alliance. Forced to make a really bad trade-off here. Shackle Shot will actually launch in, but... Uh, oh, no! Nice dodge there from Lona. Gets away from that hook shot. Now pops the uh, call down. Misery's going to try and turn some of the damage with the Blade Melding activated, but he will be able to get out. Now double chain snowball save. Actually brings them together, but it only puts them deeper in the base. S4 is going to be able to get off a Sonic Wave. Still not enough to finish anybody off. Winter's Curse on a way hop, but the Song of the Siren is making things a pain for Alliance. Now Nuts starts getting himself away. Oh, S4, nice control. Shackle Shot able to take him out. There goes T Tusk as well. Gyrocopter in the background ends up falling, and Jackie is going to run down Admiral Bulldog. Gets the slide of fist. Chains, four kills for Team Secret, and not dropping a beat into these like five man engagements repeatedly and you have to like doom five different targets, especially when there's just not an ideal target to go for. Oh, he got the, the golem. He's gonna be split into little baby dooms. Yeah, baby dooms. Arr. Immediately dies. Oh, shackle shot. Maybe this is their opening. S4 is actually just gonna go down to this. Miha just deals out so much damage in that focus fire. They want to go to WCA. They want to be moving on to these grand finals against Virtus Pro. Oh, a little bit awkward. Misery looks like he missed his hook. Jackie just going to barrel right in and trying to finish off nuts. Can't quite get it. Takes his jump back to the remnant. Meanwhile, the tier three tower does go down. Shackle shot jump forward. Admiral Bulldog was hoping to be able to get Jackie, but the shackle shot following him, and he may not be able to get that much off. Actually, Winter's Curse, but still, the Doom Link does go down. And now the pop up in the air. Weehaw's going to be able to survive through even that much. They can't even take away the Aegis. Loda's going to fall as well. They only have a buyback on Gyro here. Misery is actually going to go to S4. They jump over to Ana Ake at the same time. Misery keeps alive by discarding Grease. They can't even get him. 
Team Secret, they've only lost the Aegis so far. Now Loda comes back with a second life, immediately gets taken out. Alliance, no, it's all over. They just bail right in to see what they can do, but the writing was on the wall, 7 to 21, and Team Secret will finally beat Alliance 2 to 1 in this semifinal. I mean, great game by them in game number three. They had a strategy, they executed it. Uh, they countered the Winner's Curse really well, just dealing with the fact that they had no physical damage dealers.